Now then, here we are, me and the mutt, on the most glorious day here in the Lake District. Look at that sunshine pouring out of the sky. It's just adding that other layer of happiness to my life. So I'm feeling very good today. Anyway, we are currently walking up the side of Tilbethwaite Gill, which is down there, and that is a hell of a long drop down there. So you won't want to just sort of roll off with your sandwich off, off that, because you won't be coming back out again. Anyway, today, heading up to the top of Weatherland, which is 762 meters, way up there in the distance. So looking forward to that, and we are gonna pitch a tent and just enjoy this seriously cold weather. It is definitely gonna be a cold one. When I left the car, it was zero degrees, and there was quite a lot of ice on the way up already. And obviously with altitude, it gets even cooler. So it's gonna be cold tonight. The forecast on the mountain tops did say that it'd be minus five tonight up here, possibly minus six. But I don't think there's gonna be any wind. So I don't think the wind chill's gonna add anything to that. But anyway, we are packed ready for it. Plenty of down to wrap ourselves up in and to keep us warm and cozy for the night ahead. just dumped the backpack down at the bottom there because this just looked quite interesting a few trees and uh, just a possibility for a future camp maybe and I always sort of think while you're out and the weather's good you've got a bit of time it's definitely worth checking out straight away we've got some nice grass and these few little trees around and about yeah not a bad spot really Let's take it up onto this top bit. Bit rocky here, no place for a tent. But not a bad view. All the way around, look at that. What do you think, Blue? Hey, there's a little lad. Yeah, if we just look down the valley here, you can see the path all the way around. It's just on that sort of line of sunshine and just comes around here. And then now we are in the shade and it's quite breezy actually. So it's definitely a cold, bitter chill in the air. But when you're exercising, it's not too bad, but you don't really want to get too sweaty because that sweat can soon turn very cold. So I'm going to stick with just having this uh, top on and a t-shirt underneath it, which is just keeping me at a constant temperature. And I will, carry on following the old sat nav there up to the top of the mountain get on then he loves it absolutely loves it that dog Wow, just stop for a moment and have a look at that. That is just spectacular. You can see for absolutely miles. Incredible, it really is. I can't wait to get to the summit. And from there, obviously we're gonna have some more views as well. Back towards Swirl Howe and the old man at Coniston. It's just starting to open up on the far side of the mountain now, so you can see northbound. <laughs> Look at that, wow. That is incredible. We've got Esk Pike and Bowfell over there. And then Pike of Stickle, a little prominent one sticking up. And then in the, over in the distance here, you can see it's a bit of a tickle of snow on the tops. So that'll be the ones that are probably getting to about 900 meters, I would have thought. 
no snow up here though not at this height 762 i think it is whoa ah oh, just wow though this is what it's all about this is what this is what fills my heart up it really does yes yes love it <laughs> last section to the summit it's fairly tough really and it doesn't help when you've got ice everywhere you just got to double check where you're putting your feet because some of it is black ice you can't see where it actually sits and it won't take much to slip here at all but if I turn you around look at that in the background there that is the backside of Scarfell covered in snow I should be up there tonight fantastic though isn't it eh? Hey, don't get much better, it really doesn't. No. Worth the slog up here just to get those views, get that air in your lungs, and that feeling in your heart, and a beer. <laughs> that always helps too. Feel like it's deserved though, that's what the thing is. I'm not one for drinking much normally, but I do enjoy a good beer when you've, this, you've worked hard for it, that's what I like. You can see these rocks all frosted over. It's a cold one, <laughs> definitely. Quite a challenge though. See up here, it's fairly steep. And the dog's at the top already. Always waiting for me. Tricky. A few different places. It's a little bit like a stairwell, this, so I'll continue up here. Saying about the ice, super slippy. Just gonna watch where you put your feet. Well, we're just coming to the summit and back into the sunshine. There we go. Look at that. Bang on cue. Chilly down that side of the mountain for definite. Oh, let's go to this summit here. Just to touch the top, and then you feel like you deserve the beer after it. Oh, let's get up here. to be seen. 
I love having the whole mountain to myself. Just fantastic. Anyway, let's go try find a place to put a tent. Probably is with the mountains around here. The tops are quite often really rocky. Yeah, that's not a bad shout at all there. And maybe on this point. A little bit there. That's a bit rough actually. Have a good scout about. Yeah, we'll make this work. Anyway, I'll find a spot and bring you back. area here a little bit down from the summit so it's not quite as windy which is good views for the morning i'm going to get sunshine sort of right through till it drops behind the mountain over there happy days let's get this tent up there we go all set up beautifully it's such a nice pitch and the ground's all frozen so when you're putting your pegs in they are solid now they Louis. so we're going to be safe tonight you ready go Right, let's get all this kit in and get ourselves warm. That's the next thing. Right, taking a few bits out of my bag. First, I've got some food. I can't remember what I've got tonight. I think it might be chicken curry. I have got the drone. Might be a bit breezy for that, but it'd be nice to get the drone out. This is just a box full of all my sort of like charging gear, cables, all that sort of thing. We've got my cooking pot couple of beers we have got transmission from north brewing co and an ultra phase i like the ultra phase i've had a couple of them before so that'd be nice to have sat outside taking in that sunset but to do that i've brought the big guns tonight this is my rab down jacket so this is proper warm so once i get that on and also this which is my down bottoms i'll be able to sit outside and just take it all in and not have any worries whatsoever so i think next job let's get these on it's bitter it's really bitter
this tent is set up beautifully well and I am nice and warm now got this down jacket on down bottoms so I'm going to venture out and open a beer somewhere the dog's had a good run around so he's red hot because he's been chasing the drone and you can just see a tiny little slither of light there from the sunshine and as the sun goes down the moon comes up and it is quite a near full moon so it's going to be quite bright tonight I reckon well I've just found this spot near the summit hey Bluey there's a good lad eh I'll put his little jacket on him as well which just helps keep him a bit warmer keeps the wind off I need to get a better one really ideally I'm going to make my own that's going to suit him because nothing I've found has been good enough yet so anyway time to have a beer in this beautiful location and this is ultra phase by North Brewing Co eight and a half percent that is exactly what I need up here a luscious double IPA made with USA and Australian hops saturated in honeydew melon green grape and pink grapefruit with a lasting citrus finish oh definitely never do it let's open it up this way hell i've just taken glove off for 30 seconds there my hand is freezing bitter bitter cold it is anyway let's have a taste of beer There is just nothing better than that. Drinking a beer, a good beer as well, on top of a mountain. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a minute. <laughs> Leave me be. That is good. I could drink many of them, which is a bit dangerous. Eight and a half percent, but. I need some water. Right, the dog's had a drink. And this is another little uh, tiny pond on the top up here. And I need some water. And this is going to pretty much be my only water source. I'll talk about the blue one. So, I'm going to take my rock, try and bash a hole in here. It does look a bit manky like. But it's all I've got, so I'll boil the hell out of it. Yeah, it doesn't look too pretty and I just need probably about a litre to survive let's uh, shove that in there I'll get a cold hand oh my god that is gross that is absolutely manky God, I can't make my dinner out of that, seriously. <laughs> it's terrible. Terrible dog. An 
another manky water source, but it's bigger than the other one. <laughs> but it does not look good at all. I'm going to gently break this and then hopefully just get enough water to make me dinner with. An inch thick, I'd say. <sighs> yeah, it is big fat inch there. Let's see what we can do with this water now. Oh dear me. that it's like tea already I won't even need to use a tea bag oh man oh man this is disgusting worse than I've ever had. Honestly, what am I going to do? I need some water. Find a better place on this godforsaken place. Monkey, this. Well, I've done my jobs, sourced my water out of the monkey's puddle ever, and luckily I've got a curry tonight, I think, so that will mask the flavour of that algae flavoured water. Ah, yeah, anyway. You live and learn. I could have quite easily carried some water up, but I thought there was a water source up here, and obviously there is, but it's just not quite good enough. It does the job, and I'm sure I'll be absolutely fine, but you just know that you're gonna be drinking that mank. <laughs> anyway, it's been a pleasure. Look at that beautiful sunset. And I've just been sat drinking my beer and just taking it all in and I don't know if you can sort of make it out but there's some really nice beautiful dancing clouds out there that just look spectacular. So it has been lovely. Anyway, it's time to get back to the tent and then uh, crack open another beer and then eat this beautiful dinner that I'm going to make. <laughs> Well, we're back to the tent, safe and sound. And I've got to say, it's bloody cold. It is absolutely bitter. That wind that's coming through just strips you of your heat and any sort of flesh that is exposed at all, you can really feel how cold. I mean, my cheeks now, still chilly. My hands, as soon as I took my gloves off to sort that water out, freezing cold straight away. So luckily my hands have sort of come back now and I'm keeping them warm in this nice jacket. And if you're up on a mountain, you need to make sure that you've got some kit that's going to keep you warm because as soon as you get cold, it becomes dangerous because you just can't do the simple things like tie your shoelaces or take your tent down, anything like that. So you just need to make sure that you keep your body warm and especially your hands. So luckily tonight, I'm in my wrap jacket, which is the Positron or something like that pro jacket. I'll write it there. And uh, this thing is um, pretty much sorted for 
all sort of conditions in the UK I'd say it's quite a thick jacket so it's definitely good it packs down fairly small for winter it's definitely something that's worth carrying anyway and I've got to say I highly rate this jacket it keeps me so so warm and toasty and I've also got on these uh, bottoms we can't remember what they're called the past season so they're probably not available anymore but I'm sure they've got something similar but it's there and um, again these just keep you nice and toasty warm I've just been walking around um, up there trying to source the water and all that and uh, that water is manky like honestly it's gonna be hilarious eating that and just to show you how cold it is I don't know if you can see here but some splashes of water there completely frozen on the outside <laughs> so it's showing that I'm not losing much body heat to actually keep that above freezing and the temperature outside is obviously very cold anyway I'm just currently looking at the moon it is beautiful tonight and there's uh, a little bit of that sort of you know when you get that petrol spill effect around it just because of a little bit of cloud so it just looks stunning so currently I'm a very happy man and I've just got a bit of time to kill before I make some dinner so I think I'm going to open another beer let's check you're still watching <laughs> so this is another one from North Brewing Co called Transmission it reads East Coast meets West Coast in this soft and juicy IPA with deep tropical flavours and a crisp pine bitterness 6.9% so worth carrying up here let's have a taste you can see this tent flapping about a bit and it's definitely breezy it's probably about 10 mile an hour winds at the minute but with that cold air you can really feel it nice that is good oh, yeah yes well deserved I just feel like getting out and doing the exercise you know when it comes to drinking alcohol you feel like you've done something that makes you deserve having it rather than just sitting at home and drinking a beer or drinking a bottle of wine every night which I know a lot of people do you know if you get out and do something that's positive for your body then doing something like this doesn't really detract from that so as long as you're not gonna over drink I would say so yeah a couple of beers on top of a mountain suit me completely fine and to be honest pretty much it's the only time I ever drink so anyway cheers guys have a bit more of this oh yes what a day what a life love it Well, I've just brought the dog out for a quick wonder and I have not used my head torch at all for walking around. The moon, if you can just sort of see it up there, it's pretty much a full moon and it's just lighting everything up. It's just one of those nights that is absolutely beautiful. I feel just so happy to be out in all this on one of these clear nights where I can just sort of see and it's dry. That's another good thing. I haven't been dry for so long so yeah so I've already got the head torch out just so you can actually see something while I'm actually chatting to you and that is it otherwise I am going to use the light of the moon Well, we've been out for a wonder and now it's time to make some food still very cold so on the menu tonight we have an Indian curry by Radix now this was donated to me by Heath and Louise who are part of my patreon who brought it over from New Zealand and I've already had a couple of these not the Indian curry but they are really tasty so I'm quite impressed by them so I'm gonna try this tonight I'm gonna to bulk it out a little bit with some more rice and I'm gonna cook it on my four season stove which is this one and the four season ones generally have some sort of preheat system so 
as the gas is coming in it's getting preheated by a little pipe that sort of comes up near the heat source so if I just whip this out somehow and then once we are ready with this we'll get the gas connected and I need to boil some of that monkey water oh brilliant can't wait for it so we'll sit that in a nice secure position so we'll screw this on here and then once we are on we'll get that lit and get some water boiled to add to that dehydrated meal I'll just turn this gas on slightly oh yes bit of heat that is good get this water out which is already freezing that is absolutely mental just shows you how cold it is up here well, let's get some of this water in there yeah <laughs> The actual nozzle's frozen. Let's see if I can take that off. Pour some of this water in. <laughs> oh, that is manky. I'll just pop this rice in this pan just to warm up as well and I'm going to boil the hell out of it because that honestly I can't tell you how bad that water was just full of bits and just green so lots of algae in it all that yeah <laughs> oh dear if the dog drinks it though I'm sure it's all right right that's been boiling for a good minute or so now and if you want to make sure that it's properly sterilized so no crappy bacteria in there that can potentially hurt you you need to make sure you've got big bubbles and boil it for a good solid minute when it's small bubbles it's not quite at temperature so just make sure that it's really going for it and then we're at Indian curry I am so excited about this so let's Pour some of this algae filled water into here 250 mil <laughs> complete guess I can't see anything either let's turn this on a second now oh, that probably looks about right there give it a good stir ow it's getting warm So when I think it's probably a pro <laughs> I've had a drink. When I think it's probably about right, I'll just add a touch more water because then I'm gonna add this rice to it, you see. So I don't want it to be too sort of dry. So that is looking pretty good there. Quick taste. Mm, tasty. <laughs> that water is just brown. Oh dear me. A touch more then. Uh, we're going to shut this up and let it do its magic. Right, we're all ready. <laughs> we're all ready. <laughs> right, we're all. We're, uh, right, we're all ready to go. Jeez. I've only had two beers. Long handle spoon, I've put some rice in there. I'm gonna push that into that curry. Let's have a taste then. Just give it a bit of a mix. Nice and warm in my hand. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Hmm. A curry at 700 and probably about 20 meters above sea level. Not bad at all.
Mm. Right, I'm gonna sit back and just enjoy this on my tracker chair. Well, that dinner was lovely, very satisfied. And now I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. So I'm just gonna light this up again. I've just transferred my monkey algae water into this. I'm gonna boil it up. Hopefully, mask the flavor of algae with my tea bag. If I've got a tea bag. Of course he's got tea bags cup of tea and I've got a couple of these little uh, sachets of milk there which are just gonna whiten it for me but while that's boiling I'm gonna sort the dog out with some decent food as well see what we've got for him flip that gas off we are boiling I've got the door fully open here it's a completely dry night but any moisture at all in the air is condensing on the inside of here. We've got some ice on the inside of this and plenty of ice on the outside as well. We'll survive. <laughs> it's only a bit of cold. See if we can pick that up. Oh, I can't. Can't pick it up. And this is why I've got these little babies. The magic doofers. Pick that up, drop it into its sleeve. Put in a tea bag. I'll just let that brew for a minute or two. And we'll add some milk. Love a cup of tea. <laughs> simple things in life, they do please me. Yeah, I'm a simple man. And I think this is why I enjoy being out doing this sort of thing because you just cut away all the crap in life and you just come up with a few little simple items and it makes you feel good. You can hear some slavering in the background. It's because Blue's just eating his dinner next year. But yeah, I think it makes a massive difference cutting back on all the crap we've got in life and just simplifying it. For me, I would happily live in the woods in a tiny little cabin that I built myself with just the bare minimum things to get by. There'll be a couple of luxuries that obviously we become in need of i would say because they are good you know this is why humans are clever we adapt we move on we design and we make things that are just gonna make our lives better so there's certain things that i wouldn't cut out but a lot of the crap i would so yep definitely won't cut tea out though <laughs> no chance whatsoever right let's get this made sorry for waffling on <laughs> i know that i do sometimes but i've got no one else to talk to i chat to blue quite a lot and he just thinks i'm mad so you guys can just think i'm mad too i'm happy mad though that's the main thing happy mad Ah, uh, brilliant. Just brilliant. Right, lid on. Tea time. Are you coming back in, Blue? Come on then. <laughs> Good lad. Well, I'm very content. Laid in a tent. I've had a couple of lovely beers and a really nice meal albeit made with some algae infused water but at least i got to eat my greens so i'm happy with that the dog is content at the bottom of the tent again i'll just show you that there he is bless him and i'm gonna take my jacket off and just lay that over him just so he is nice and warm all evening currently just in my sleeping bag I'm just sat against my trekker chair i've still got this sort of door open even though there is a bit of moisture and yeah it's sort of freezing onto the inside of this here you can see that 
but the moon is as bright as a shiny new five pence piece so if I just show you that there you go there's the beautiful moon and clear as anything you can see some of the lights down in the valley bottom there and what a fantastic day it has been just having that sun pouring out of the sky and just adding that little bit more happiness to an already very happy man and just to be out with my best mate blue adventuring and making some more memories and as i always say all the nights you're staying at home it's like how many nights of those can you actually remember you just don't form any memories when you sat at home watching tv whereas you come out for a night like this and here we are making memories that will last and that's what it's all about so definitely get yourselves outside and the time is now the best time to do it is now maybe not now maybe tomorrow but <laughs> you know you just need to get on and do it as soon as you can really and just embrace it all that's what it's all about anyway enough tent waffle it is time to lay this lug and we will see the morning. Take care. Flowers. What a beautiful morning. I'm sat here just behind a cairn just to get out of the wind a little bit because it is fairly breezy. But me and my best mate just taking in this sunrise. Just perfect. What a fantastic day to wake up. And it's these moments I just do not want to end. I just love being out here, taking it all in and you've just got to appreciate these moments for as long as you can before I have to get on with the jobs, <laughs> packing up, packing that tent away which is completely covered in ice, that fly sheet has got ice on the inside of it and outside so anyway, it will be like trying to fold up a piece of cardboard probably, <laughs> oh dear. Awesome, eh? Just awesome.
Well, you definitely know it's cold when you've got ice droplets forming on the outside of your sleeping bag. <laughs> Look at that. I've had it a lot colder though, because uh, in the past, a couple of times, I've had a full frost over my sleeping bag. And uh, where I've been breathing on one side and I've turned to the other side and it's had a bit of time to freeze again, I've had absolute ice sheet stuck to my sleeping bag. So, anyway, we survived. Did we, Bluey? Hey, we survived. Just gonna get rid of a bit of the ice with this. It's my lid for my pan. It's nice and smooth, so hopefully it won't damage anything. Just give it a scrape off. Well, we started to break camp. The bag is packed, all ready to go. Blue's bag's packed. The only thing I've kept out is obviously the tent and my down bottoms, which I've kept on because in no time at all up here, I will be freezing. So I'm just gonna make sure that I maintain my body temperature before we start moving. So let's get this tent away before we skedaddle off into the sunshine. What an amazing day. This, to me, is just pure happiness. That sunshine and that just cold, fresh breeze blowing through. Oh, yes. Anyway, we have broken camp. Leave no trace as always. Just make sure if you are leaving a trace, it's just in your brain, all those amazing memories. And just look at what we've got here. Just amazing. Anyway, we are going to head off and get ourselves back off this mountain on to the next adventure. Are you ready then, Bluey Dog? Go on then, get on. done. One last look before we descend any further. What an amazing day. I keep saying it, but you know, this is what it's all about for me. I just love getting out and just feeling all this. So I would completely advise to anyone, get yourselves out and just enjoy what you can in life. And it doesn't have to be the top of a mountain like this. You know, just get yourselves outside, wherever it may be, a local woodland, local park, up to the top of Everest, wherever it suits you. So if you like the video and you'd like to contribute towards the channel in any way, then you can buy me a coffee in the buy me a coffee link. You can join the Patreon. You can give this video a thumbs up. You can comment. You can buy some merch. There is my merch store as well. So all the links are in the description and there'll be a pinned comment at the top of the comment section. So check all those out. Anyway, from me and the beautiful blue, you right, Bluey? <laughs> Come on then. We'll see you another time. Take care.